So I didn't know that Brayton bullied other kids. I thought I was the only one. So I decided to create a podcast for people to call in and tell me the Brayton stories. Welcome to the DMD show where anybody can call and talk about Brayton. Caller number one, what has Brayton done to you? Oh, that boy's just straight up crazy. One day he just came up to me during lunchtime and just took my muffin. Wait, what did he take? My muffin! Oh, my your blueberry muffin. muffin! He just took it and ate it! I'm sorry to hear about your muffin. What's your name? My name? Oh, I can't say that. He might be listening. I'm hanging up. Wait, wait. <sighs> Caller number two, what has Brayton done to you? Caller number two? Oh, I'm sorry, I was playing the SpongeBob game. Oh, the Krusty Cook-Off? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yup, that game is so fun. The link to the game is on my TikTok page. Cool, but now about Brayton. One day he asked me to knock a pencil off his shoulder and I did it and he beat me up. Stop playing, he did that to me too. Hold on, we have a third caller. Hello? Oh, so you wanna be on here talking about me? I'ma beat you up at school. And that's it for today's podcast. <laughs> So when I got to school one day, I seen two of my friends bobbing their heads. Look at your shoes, look at your pants, look at your shirt. Oh, this is great. <laughs> look at your shoes, look at your pants, look at your shirt. Yo, yo, Desmond's coming, turn it off. Yo, what was that song? We're not listening to a song, we're playing the Aqua Park game. Yeah, it's a game where you go down water slides. The link to the game is on my page. Nah, y'all were listening to a song. What song was that? You're not gonna like it. Yeah, Brayton made a whole song about you. About me? What are you talking about? You remember back in fifth grade when you wore that funny looking outfit and Brayton started talking about you? I mean, really, look at your shoes look at your pants look at your shirt trust me i remember but what about it he made a whole song about it yeah he put on itunes spotify everywhere oh y'all must be talking about my new song have you heard it desmond it's about you nope and i never will you better listen to it before i get mad okay <laughs> one day he came to school wearing some funny clothes i looked down at his feet and said ha what a road what do you think oh i love it <laughs> So in the eighth grade, everyone started playing this game called Open Neck. Basically, if you saw someone not paying attention, you walked up behind them and smacked the back of their neck with all your might. Open Neck! And if you were really good, the person would be holding the back of their neck for the rest of the period. The only issue was Brayton would take it too far every time. You'd be looking right at him and he'll still try to hit you. Instead of using his hands, he'll try to use books. And instead of hitting you once, he'll hit you three times. Open Neck! Open Neck! Open Neck! One time he hit me so hard that his handprint was stuck on the back of my neck for days. But to Brayton, it was a one-way game. One day I got him back, up and neck, and it didn't go too well. What you doing? I don't play those stupid games, I'm beating you up! Oh my goodness, I'm about to get beat up. Brayton, you open neck me yesterday, why can't I open neck you? Because I'm Brayton, and nobody touches Brayton! Get over here! Open neck, open neck, open neck, open neck! Whoa, whoa. So one afternoon, Brayton took a nap and his older brother, Ethan, wanted to play a trick on him. Wake up, Brayton. It's time to go to school. <gasps> what time is it? It's 7 o'clock. You're about to be late for school. Oh no, I got people I gotta beat up today. Brayton got washed up, put on some clothes, and headed to the curb to wait for the bus. I seen him sitting outside and I said, Brayton, why are you sitting on the curb? I'm waiting for the school bus. Why don't you have your school uniform on? <laughs> because it's 7.30. Yeah, I know, stupid. 7.30. PM. Now who's stupid? 7.30 PM! Oh! Ethan! Wait, I'm playing the Simon game. This game is so fun. I'm trying to survive. The link to the game is on my page. Why do you say it was time for school? Because I can do what I want to do, and you can't do nothing about it. Huh, <laughs> little boy. Oh, I can't stand you, Ethan! <laughs> So I would never forget my 8th grade graduation. I remember being so excited because I was finally going to be away from Brayton. Rumor had it that he was moving away, so in high school, I was going to be free! My class selected me to give a speech and it was time. Hi, I'm Desmond Dennis, and I can't believe that we're graduating. There's so much that I want to say, but I don't want to keep you guys too long, so I'm just going to talk about the bad things because there's way more bad than good. I'm not going to say any names, but that guy right there has made school so miserable for me. I don't even know where to begin. At first, we were friends, but then he just started being mean to me, and the principal and all y'all teachers know what I'm talking about because y'all were scared of him too. So all I have to say is that I'm glad I'm graduating because I don't have to see his face no more. I didn't hear them call my name to get my diploma, and they gave it to Brayton to give it to me. You missed your turn, Desmond. Here's your diploma. Diploma. Ooh, you gotta be a little quicker than that. My diploma! You just had to bully me one last time, huh? So many colors, you look just like a clown. Wait, you came to school wearing hand-me-downs. I, I seen those clothes before. Your brother wore that shirt before. And I see you get mad, but you ain't bad. But check that I smack you on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Listen to my words, cause I really want you to know. Yeah. I'm the kind of guy that diss you in your own studio. So you better get out my face before I give you a spanking. And I don't want to hear your mouth.
Look at your shoes, look at your pants, look at your shirt. Come on, y'all.